Hey, what's up everyone? How y'all doing today? Welcome. I'm going to walk you through some of the basic stuff on, of course, maybe, uh, basic stuff on pretty much installing any mods from ATS or ETS. And of course, one of the cool features that I have come to like is the Truckee app. And uh, we'll have that app loading here. Uh, let me load it up so you can actually see what it looks like. Now, if you've never used Truckee app, it I, it is highly recommended that you use a Truckee app. Okay, so while it loads up here, and I give it its permission, and switch. Now, I'm not paying for any premium displays or anything like that uh, all right so this is a truckie app here there like I said there are several cool features about it and it is loading depends on your internet speed and stuff one thing that uh, highlight this app about is it shows the leaderboards how what trucks you ran on ETS or ATS and it's also uh, we got a VTC hub, which is my company is Big Tech's Trucking Company, and so uh, I'm always looking for drivers if you're interested in uh, in driving for me. But one reason I brought you on here is to show you these app, these mods, more or less. And I found out through a good friend about these mods. I'm going to do a quick update. Sometimes you need an update, and what it's going to actually do is put these mods in the game for you. This is the coolest feature from Truckee. It will automatically put just about any mod that you have into the game. And right now it has a green indicator which means everything's been installed. I love map mods. Map mods for ATS or ETS. We're gonna look at uh, this feature here. Everything in green I pretty much already have installed, so we might check out trucks. Let me uh, scroll down here. So, yeah, everything in green is already installed on this PC. I'm going to bring up something that, and not all these mods will work like yours uh, even works. I got Coast to Coast, Canadian Dream. It's got the updated Coast to Coast and Canada Dream. And then uh, it's got some other stuff like Texoma. And we're going to get into another stream on actually mod managers again because there's always an update going on. That's for ATS. Let's show you an ETS one. I haven't really done a lot with this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to install all these ETS mods right here. Let's hit install. Click on them. It tells you how much megabytes kick kilobytes that each one of these have and they're all compatible as and while they're while it's doing this we can always google the download order from anywhere but like I said, I'm not getting into any download order yet since this is going to take some time it's got sound fixes it's got resolution loading screens I know one thing that I haven't seen on ATS is the ma the actual map itself. So what we're going to do is not total downloads. I believe it's on other, so you can search by trucks. While well, the a ETS is downloading, okay, it doesn't have what I was looking for there. It has some little mirrors. You can download buses even. Although they don't have buses on ATS, more of ETS. You can download the traffic, cars. I'm more of, I like the trucks and I like the trailers and the maps itself. And even paint jobs. Those are kind of my few that I do like. So there's a, another truck here. Let's go to. This is just my library of everything I have. And then you got the feature of latest mods that's for every aspect. 
like we stand by Ukraine you trailers here that's a feature one paint job it's got maps galore so let's go back to this and we'll, I want to see some trucks or trailers maybe some trailers that we haven't used which we there's a lot here so here's a fuel tanker I haven't really used any of that so what we might do is download that one put that in the queue the East Coast dump truck I usually get the these from different sites too and right now da, 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 my oh maybe it's up here maybe I gotta go down I hope I didn't freeze it oh I think it's loading. My mouse has literally kind of froze because I'm downloading so many things on ATS and ETS. Alright, so I think my mouse is free or not. I guess at the time, don't download too many mods. What's how's it going everyone? Welcome again. This is a how-to demonstration for the simple. We got trucky mods here and since we're doing this downloading these mods we might as well go into another oh what would you call it let's go type in ATS mods so ATS mods and it'll bring you to several websites now it's not recommended that you do it this way and we're going to see both of them in there. We got ATSMods.net, ModsSat.com. We have, uh, there's, you can find out which is the best one. Like I said, Maps is one of my favorite things to use on here. Let's go to ATSMods.net. Alright, as you can see, you always ask about cookies. Yes, we accept it. And the, the reason that they don't recommend download from other sites, and you must have an ad blocker. If you don't have the ad blocker, it's not going to do you any good. Speaking of which, I need to see if my ad blocker is even on this one. So let me might have to add that real quick. Ad blocker. So you don't get all this crazy mumbo jumbo ness. Uh, I don't want to download it from Chrome. It, the one I usually download has a hand in front. That's ADP now. Because I'm um, looking on my thing, I don't have an ad blocker and I don't want to get all these viruses either. So let's look for the best fit ad blocker. Type in with. Shows all the Google Chrome. Wait, let's get ad block. That's a newer one, is ad block for Chrome. Has a lot of reviews, lots of extensions. We'll try that out. Yeah, this is the same one. Okay. As long as it has a hand there, we're good. Because I don't want any unwanted stuff to just pop up out of nowhere. Alright, so it's installing. Since I did not see it there before, yes, this is the one that we want. You can give to it if you want. Alright, so we have that. Now that it's there, we're going to look at a truck. Like I said, everything on truck is automatically downloading to the site itself. And that's weird how it automatically got installed on both. So, uh, let's go to trucks here. See what kind of trucks they got. See, there's an ad right there. 
you got to be careful of, the, of what you choose. All I did was choose trucks. Okay, here we go. International 9900 Ti. Don't click anything if you don't know what it is. Yes, we are pinning the ad block to get it. We have a Kenworth T610. Oh, there's an Eagle. I like that one. And you want to make sure they are, they're compatible too. Look for the right vis. This is a cool international. I, guess. I like this truck. And of course, I'll take you to share. Uh, dot, I'll take you to sharemods.com. Like I said, have that ad blocker. It will prevent unnecessary stuff coming through. You create a download link. Send the download link. Creates. And then you're going to start the download process. That way it gives time for Truckee to actually download itself. Alright, so we have created our download link. Boom. It's done. You see it at the bottom? What I always do is I go to my folder. Once it's completed, like now. Alright, it is completed. We're going to show it in folder. Find out where it is. Okay, it's right there. Now it has RAR and that's okay because you can actually, you're going to cut that and go to your documents, American Truck Similar, make sure you have a mod folder completed, click on the mod, and presto, you paste it in, but one last step that you have to do is you're going to have to copy it again to move it, so let me copy it. And we're gonna move it to the SCS extractor, which puts it in the game itself. So we are going to paste it. Boom, see that black box? It's done. Okay, and again, that's, we're gonna go to game capture. And now let's go look at the mods that we have put in the game. A lot of them have been installed already, so that's good. Actually, I think they're all ready. Yep, they're all ready to go. So our next thing, we're going to load the game up. Launch an ATS. And it should come up with no problem. Nope, not yet. So we're going to load the game in. And then I want to give you a sneak peek at uh, at the mods. It's that simple. And of course, uh, you can always message me, email me. Uh, I'll put my Discord link in too. One thing I need to do is adjust. Where's my mouse at? All right. So I'm going to adjust some things here. One, I gotta adjust the volume. Is that you? Really? So that everything comes in clear. And hopefully you can hear me too. I got a brand new microphone. Yeah, everything's coming in actually not the way it's supposed to. And with that, we're going to switch out the game to ATS. Boom, ATS is there. You see it. The only thing left to do is adjust the volume one last time on the game itself through the mixer. Okay, she's all set then. Perfect. She is ready to go. I just need to finish up this last little bit here. And we'll get, we'll show you where the mods are. Okay, so 
after checking with everything, all the mods are in place. So now let's bring up the game. Okay, so now we got the game. Let's go to Mod Manager. Just to make sure we have it all the way it's supposed to be. Now, th these steps can work on every mod that's out there. You see that the tanker's already there? That came from the uh, from the online feature. Once we extracted it to from to, from SCS, it automatically put in the game the rusties, mega resources and stuff. And actually, why did it put? No, it didn't. I thought it put other stuff in here. But we're gonna move this project, this tanker, into the game itself. Whoops. We don't want it at the bottom, but we are going to move it down. And the order it really should be is your maps at the bottom, your trucks, and then your then any trailers. You don't want anything out of order, out of line. Paint schemes can go anywhere in the game. So we're going to put the tanker further up here. Because we don't really need it at the bottom. We'll put it right here. And one thing I love is my maps here. Let me go to my maps. My other. There's better traffic. I got the Himmel advisor. Uh, let's see. I got Unleashing the Beast. I got different no damage mod, profile start, jump start, buses, big tech game and stuff is there. I am actually looking for one thing. Where is it? I didn't, and anything in red, like the Paz mods, I actually need to get rid of those. So that's my next thing is probably take a screenshot and get rid of those. That I do not need. Quick screenshot there, so it's I know what's what, and get get it rid of them out of my inventory. Ah, uh, yes, a big map here. This is what I love. We're gonna put that right there. Actually, that's the order it needs to be. If the game crashes, it's because I got something in the wrong order. That's all there is. So what we're going to do is go right into the game and actually put that tanker to use. We're going to use it tonight. So as it signs, it signs in. Sometimes it does take a little while to load, and that's perfectly fine. But if it crashes, like I said, if it crashes, it's always because the mod's out of order. And you have to go through your mod manager. That's typically the only reason. Uh, or you got broken mods somewhere in there. That's literally the only thing that will keep you from playing the game. And if you have a lot of mods, I'm talking about a lot, it will take four ever to uh, to download like this is actually working at a faster speed I have a 2060 grab uh, GPU in my laptop which is more than enough to function my 1050 Ti will not uh, function like this so once it's in there we're gonna actually use that trailer and show so I'll show you from beginning to end you have the different mods that you added through the game. Oh, the trailer you saw, the the uh, East Coast East trailer, that was actually from a truckie. So I had one of each. One was from the uh, ATS.net mod, while the other one was from Truckee. To show that you can put both of them in there. They both work as well. One just takes a little, has an added step or two. And so... 
as long as everything works out all right, I always, I always save before I do anything. Hit that save button so it keeps your progress. That is very key. Save, save, save. And if all goes well, we'll use this trailer. If it all does not go well, we will not use this trailer. But you can also catch me on Facebook at Big Text Gaming, Twitch, Big Text Gaming, YouTube, Big Text Gaming. I have two YouTube channels. Follow both of them. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Let me know how I'm doing. If this is something that if you learn something from it and you have the option to have your trucky mod be showcased that's another time for another uh, another time but today we're just focused on adding mods from the websites and also from the uh, trucky app and as it loads on in Check out my hiking videos. Uh, I recently got into doing some hiking stuff, nature videos. Check those out. Loading, loading, loading. It shall be loading shortly. But uh, yeah, of course we are uh, live right now. When the video is not live, I do run a few programs which you see that's flashing for you. Cooking with Big Techs. Text Talk is every Saturday. All right, yay! My map is working the way it's supposed to now. Oh, I gotta find another home. Oh, let's go to another location. We like Denver, Colorado as our prime location. It's gotta reconfirm that, that that's where we wanna go. All right, so here's the trailer that, uh, first we're gonna switch trucks all together. We'll go to our truck manager. And I actually want a different style of truck. I have tons of trucks here. Different styles. We drove a Volvo last time. We haven't driven a Freightliner in a long time. So we're going to upgrade this Freightliner. Because it's going to be carrying our other product. Change its carriers. And did I say, you know, did we save it? We need to save it, don't we? So, uh, checking all this here. We know we can't do anything more. Well, it has, this one has 300 horsepower. We're going to up it at least a 550 for the Caterpillar engine in there. Next time I'll have to show you how to put more horsepower in your engine. Now right, we're going to do a 16 plus 2. Give us some more. Oh. And then this is uh, the inside of the cab. We're going to keep it as is. I like that. And we are in a Freightliner. I just need to upgrade some of these tires here. Oh, these tires don't look half bad. You know what? I'm going to keep these tires. We're going to confirm it and we're going to place her in Denver, Colorado. If there's any space. There's no space in Denver, which means we got to go to Colorado Springs. Alright, so we are moving ourselves to Colorado Springs along with the trailer that we just put there got our trailer manager I know it oh wait I haven't bought a trailer yet but I can relocate the driver to Colorado Springs there we go we're going to drive this uh, Freightliner tonight now, let me hit save just uh, in case anything funny happens. 
We're going to save this here. Now we got that trailer that we had got. We you know, saw that we had. Uh, it's a mod out here. Let's find it. The Load Kings, those are brand new that were. It was gifted to me. Now, if you don't see the trailer up here, which is not good if we don't see it, it's a tanker trailer. I'm looking. Oh, there's a food tank, a bulk feed, an end dumper. I haven't had an end dumper in a while. I'm specifically looking for that one trailer that we had. I'm actually not seeing it. I am not seeing it at all. These are standard trailers. Here's what we'll do. We'll go with this end dumper. I do apologize. I know that trailer is here. We're going to put it right here in Pueblo, no, Colorado Springs, and we're going to use that trailer. Alright, so we have put it there, now we're going to put it to use. Trailer Manager. I don't have all my mods on here as you can see, but I don't think we've used this trailer before. Okay, the trailer has been attached. Now that it's been attached, hit that save button again. This thing does not have a lot of speed. All right, so we did save it. Let's go to our maps and see where this thing will take us. Get our cargo markets. There's a lot of cool stuff here. That is in Pueblo, but we're in Colorado Springs. Come on, Colorado Springs. There we go. Okay, so we can take soil to Colorado. Take our stones to New Mexico. Gravel to Wyoming. A lot of these are shorter distances, which is okay for this truck. None of it goes coast to coast way. Eli, Nevada. You know what? We might do Rock Springs, Wyoming. We're not going to do it right now. At least get it set up. But that is how you pretty much set up everything. Put your mods in place. I do have uh, some trailers there. And so, sorry about that. All right. So now our trailer is all set. We are going to keep this in dumper for the small truck. And that is a. Uh, that's how to add mods. I'm going to end this, end it right here. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you had a wonderful. Hope you learned something today. Mess with me. Tell me what a great job I'm doing. Anyways, I'm going to get on out of here. Y'all have a great afternoon, and I'll catch you on the next one. Again, this is how to load mods and ATS.